We've talked about parameters earlier on in the course, but for this unit, I'm just going to go over some of those concepts again, because parameters really are at the heart of how Revit works. And if you can understand and appreciate their importance, then it makes learning the software so much easier. So to start off, let's look at how parameters control everything within our project. So here's a simple model. If I click on the end wall there, so I've selected that element, that instance of a wall, you can see how the properties palette displays all the parameters and properties of that particular element. And as you might expect, I can go around the model, selecting different things, so the window in this case, and its properties parameters and values come up in the properties palette and I can select the roof and as you may expect again the properties palette changes to show us everything we need to know about the roof. So not only does the properties palette report and show us the properties of our elements but we can also use it to control those elements directly so for example if I pick the roof we can see that the current slope of the roof is 40 degrees if I change that to 50 degrees type it directly into the properties palette hit apply the roof slope changes in the model we've just seen how we can change a parameter or a property in the properties palette and the view updated accordingly it's important to realize that what you're doing by changing one of these properties is you are changing the model itself and all these different views are just views of the same model so for example let's go back and select our roof again and previously we changed the slope up to 50 degrees let's change that down to 30 degrees. Now notice before I do that that the roof has become selected in all views that we can see the roof obviously we can't see it in the, the plan view but you'll note now that actually as I move my cursor off the properties palette remember any changes that you've made do take effect once the cursor moves outside and when I brought my cursor out and I brought it over here to highlight this view the the 30 degree slope took effect and the roof has changed in all the different views so it's not a particular view you're updating as such it's the complete model these are just various windows into that same 3d model because these are just windows into a single model we can choose which view to work in to best make those changes so for example if I want to move that end wall in a little I can do it there and those changes take place in all the other views because they are just looking at the same model likewise if I zoom in on this 3d view and I move that door along you'll notice it moves to the end in this elevation view so it's a really powerful aspect of Revit is that you can have multiple views open of your model and you can switch instantly to whatever view is easiest to work in depending on what changes you need to make and that completes this unit to get the most out of this training material, please take the complete course online at bimscape.com. Here you will find a complete learning management system that allows you to work through the course at your own pace. Comprehensive written tutorials provide additional information to that found in the training videos. Mark each unit as complete as you finish it and move on to the next. At any point, you can return to any of the units you have previously completed to go over the material again. If you'd like to take this course online, 
please visit www.bimscape.com forward slash Revit for details.